Hi, hey, hello, it's me. So I'm going to try something a little bit different this weekend. Um, my mum called me during the week and said there were some there were some boxes in the attic belonging to me, and she wanted to get rid of them. So she pulled them down. We had a rummage through them, and uh, I found something I thought I'd lost maybe ten years ago. And it's the first ever digital camera that I owned from 2006. Uh, this thing is an absolute spec monster. It's the Fuji FinePix A500. This thing is a 5.1 megapixel, uh, 2.5 inch CCD sensor with a... 6.4 to 19.2 millimeter lens. That's about 34 mil to 114 mil equivalent. That's optical zoom. Uh, we also have a flash with auto, uh, which was unheard of in 2006, and uh, an optical viewfinder. This thing is awful. This optical viewfinder is filthy, and the dirt is on the inside, so I can't clean it. Let's see if we can try and see through it. Yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, that's that's as good as it gets with this thing. Um, we also have the world's worst LCD screen, which only works in playback mode, not in uh, live view. So you have to use this rinky-dink, itsy-bitsy, teeny-weeny, yellow polka dot fucking piece of shit viewfinder to frame and compose your photos. And it's not centered. So what you're seeing through this viewfinder, it's not even the picture the camera's taken. It's something off to the left of the picture. So it's pretty useless. Um, we also have a few uh, few buttons here. This is the zoom toggle, left and right menu and back. Believe it or not, this camera actually has a... A full manual mode and see what I mean when I say this is the worst LCD in the history of man unless you are looking at it pretty much dead on it's impossible to see but yeah we have a full manual mode on this camera believe it or not hold on let me there we go and in full manual mode I can control the ISO range between a whopping 100 and 400 ISO. Exposure compensation, two stops each way, pretty standard. And the white balance. Five adjustments, five awful, disgusting, horrible tones. Um, and and that's, that, that's about it. That, that's, that's literally the entirety of what you get with uh with manual mode but i'm going to leave it in manual mode because if you put it in auto mode it just wants to flash with every image um i know it says it doesn't work in preview mode you can see stuff but the second you try and take a photo the whole thing freezes and crashes and you gotta take the batteries out reboot it and blah blah so it's uh you, you just got to use the viewfinder but this uh this yellow dot here that's basically the that that's the the only sole single autofocus point uh, on this camera so no crazy sony tracking autofocus or uh any other cool tricks this thing basically that's it you point that box at what you want to be in focus and um tough shit <laughs> if you want something else in the frame to be in focus um yeah, so we also have over here um, a 5 volt uh, power input, but this thing doesn't have rechargeable batteries. So why would it have a, a power input? Um, it's because this thing has a video mode. And that video mode boasts a behemoth resolution of 640 by 360 at 10 frames per second, which killed the batteries so hard it needed to be physically plugged into an external power source to use. 
Um, safe to say we won't be trying that out because I have not been able to find that cable. Uh, battery wise, double A's. Who remembers those? Uh, it also uses an XD uh, picture card for memory and uh, they don't exist anymore and I don't have the one that was in this. So I'm limited to the internal memory on this, which is 12 megabytes. That can fit four, count them, four JPEGs. Uh, of course, this thing doesn't shoot raw. So um, I'm going to have a go at using this for the weekend, taking some pictures and seeing what I can do with them. To be fair, if I remember rightly, and I'll try and find some of those old photos and share them um, on my Instagram, I, I remember taking some pretty usable, decent photos with this camera back in the day. So I reckon I can do something with it. It'll be fun though, trying to, you know, frame everything up with this offline optical viewfinder and only being able to take, you know, four shots at a time and then having to plug it into the computer and pull them off. So, uh, oh, also <laughs> tripod mount, like anyone would ever need to mount this thing. I mean, it's a packet of cigarettes. Look at that. I mean, for those of you who remember what cigarettes are, um, I mean, for reference, this is my wallet. <laughs> so, you know, It, it, it's it's tiny uh you know i don't have ginormous hands i have regular normal sized hands so you know tiny um so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have a go i'm gonna uh this weekend i'm gonna say goodbye to uh goodbye to the sony we're gonna say goodbye to the to the gr and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna spend the I'm gonna document the weekend with this absolute spec beast of uh, of a camera um i'm not gonna lie guys it's gonna be fucking boring as all hell because we're in lockdown and can't go anywhere and just there's nothing in this crap hole of a town except for bushes and not people bush that's for only fans uh just just you know outside bush so um yeah it's basically just going to be pictures of my breakfast and my cats and some some bush pg bush so but yeah, fun project. Let's see, let's see what happens.